Hey, man. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. So, my office is up here. What's sure. up here? I'm Detective King. Detective King. Yep. Y'all just did a remodel here not too long ago, right? They were, uh, I saw the guys doing some work outside. They, they refreshed it, right? So they painted it, sure. replaced the roof because, because uh, honestly, it was kind of looking like crap. So <laughs> they, they fixed it up, made it look a lot nicer. Put a little lipstick on a period, it never hurts. Exactly. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. As you can see, you can smell the evidence room. <laughs> You don't mind just close that door too. Yes, sir. All right. I appreciate you letting me record this. No, it's you know I don't you know nothing that we're going to talk about hasn't been um, you know you talked about on on the channel anyway. So sure, sure. In my office, other than being a little cluttered, it looks good in here. <clears throat> What I'm going to do now is I'm also going to make a voice memo recording. Yes, sir. Tends to be better than body camera. At least the audio is. <clears throat> All right. This is Sergeant King, uh, Detective King, with Shane Kiro's in reference to IA-24-01. So, <clears throat> just a, I don't take handwritten notes because I think it distracts from a conversation we're trying to have, right? Yes, so. Sir. If I look at anything, it's just trying to make sure I get everything work. correct, right, and be accurate. Um, so you filed a formal complaint with us. I believe it was yesterday was when you filed the formal complaint yes, sir. on an interaction between you and Officer Og on 328, uh, a little after 6 o'clock. So kind of tell me about that interaction. Of course, we have body cam, so sure. I, I can see his perspective of most of it. Well, what's not on camera is the very beginning. Yes, and that, that's what I want you to touch on go from your first point of contact with him all the way to when sure. you were done and I'll try not to interrupt. So my wife and I, you know, the corner of State Street and Elm Street, mm -hmm. right in front of State Street Cycles, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, sir. There's a park bench there. Um, and then there's the stop sign. So my wife and I, that's very close to where we live. Mm -hmm. um, we tend to walk around that area a lot and we like to sit on that bench and watch traffic talk or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we seen him coming down in front of Slice, and he made the, the turnover. I forget what the name of that road is in between there. But then he come down State Street, and I guess the bench is maybe 10 to 15 feet from the stop sign. Mm -hmm. And I saw him with his window down. I knew who it was. I dealt with him on the Emerson issue. Um, and as he approached the stop sign, I didn't even engage him. He just heard me. Mm -hmm. he, he, he lied or he misheard when he said that I, I screamed out, what's up, fuck stick. Mm -hmm. What I said was, hey, honey, there goes fuck stick. Mm -hmm. And he said, that's funny coming from a child molester. And then left the stop sign and proceeded down to ABC Pond, which, you know, is what, 150 yards from, mm -hmm. from the area. Mm -hmm. Immediately, I began walking. And you go back and watch his dash cam. His dash cam footage shows how far I walked all the way up there. I didn't, you know, I wasn't up there antagonizing him you know, to begin with. I went up there, and then you see from from his perspective what you have so far. I don't know if you've watched the video online yet. Mm -hmm, I did. Okay, you've seen some of them. I'll let you watch the entire video because okay. there's stuff you know that, that, that I didn't put in there, not because I'm hiding anything, but because that I wanted to leave his body worn camera because those calls that he made were important. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll let you watch the entirety of my video. Um, then you see me first walk up to him and ask him, "What did you say to me?" I might have said, what the fuck did you say to me? Mm -hmm. um, and he said, I said, I don't talk to child molesters. And then, you know, you see me from there. So, so, but just for the sake of the record, sure. go, kind of go through that too from okay. the, what you remember. Um, so I walked up to his car directly onto the ABC Pond par uh, property. Um, 
not in a threatening manner. I mean, you can watch the dash cam, which I'm sure you've reviewed the dash cam footage as well. I wasn't walking up threatening. I walked up with my camera out, obviously recording. He knows who I am. He knows what I do. And uh, first thing I said again was, what did you say to me? He said, no, I don't talk to child molesters. And then he immediately told me that if I make a scene on the property, he's going to have me CTW'd. And it took him, what, less than five seconds to get out of his car to go inside to solicit a trespass. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, I don't believe I was being disorderly. I don't, I don't think anything that I did resulted in disorderly conduct, met the statute of disorderly conduct. And I think a couple of your officers are um, misled on the statute of dis disorderly conduct from the conversations he had on the phone. But let's get back to where we were. Mm -hmm. He gets out of the car, goes inside. Um, and while he's inside, I, I moved to the sidewalk because mm -hmm. I know he's going to see, you know, try to see CCW me. Um, actually in hindsight, I wish I would have went ahead and got him to CTW me from there. So I'd had some paperwork on the issue. Mm -hmm. But, uh, when he come back out after he said what he said inside, we all seen the, the video. Um, he told me, you know, you've been warned, you step on the property, they're going to CTW. And I stepped onto the property, which was still an easement. And I just, you know, uh, aggravating him at that point because mm -hmm. I was pissed. And it's a CTW me. I stepped off the sidewalk onto the parking lot. And uh, he said, you're on the easement. And, you know, I'm not stupid. Got back in his car. Um, at that point, I began to ask him. Uh, uh, he, he called me a child molester again. Um, and then I asked him, do you know anything about the case? He said that he read the entire thing, which I don't know how he has that. Mm -hmm. that he, does, he read the AJC article that, that was posted when I was arrested. Mm -hmm. He hasn't read my final disposition. I believe he thought I was a convicted child molester and has now found out that I was acquitted of mm -hmm. all of my charges. Um, called me a child molester multiple times. While he was running radar, I was slowing traffic down, calling him a dipshit. I'm pretty sure I counted 27 or 28 dipshits in that video. Okay, um, fair enough. Uh, very heated. It never rose to the level of fighting words. You know, nothing like that. Never, mm -hmm. never threaten them. Never antagonize them. Hey, take your body, you know, take your gear off. Let's do this. Yeah, nothing yeah. like that. Um, basically, told him I was innocent, that he was wrong, and told him also if he went inside there and told them I was a child molester, that was slander. Mm -hmm. That's not slander. You know, you see that on the video. Like I said, I know you've seen the video. Um, and eventually, during his phone calls, I didn't know he was making phone calls. At the time, until I got the body worn camera, I couldn't mm -hmm. hear him, you know, even talking from from there, unless he was talking to me louder. Where I yeah, could hear, yeah. you know, threat, threat, threatening to take me to jail for disorderly conduct, um, prior restraint, right there. And I, I don't know if it's Gonzo. Yeah. yeah. So is that his his supervisor? Is, is Gonzo a sergeant or a corporal? He's a corporal. He's a corporal. He's a corporal. Mm -hmm. So he also was conspiring in prior restraint. Threatening to come up there and arrest me for cussing on the on, on a public sidewalk in that video. Mm. I, did, did you catch that part? I, I heard it. I heard okay. it. Yeah. So yeah, there's probably going to be another complaint filed just because I think that needs to be in his his record. I think he needs to be brought up to speed on disorderly conduct. Yeah. So I'll I'll just go and drop this in there. Um, I'm not going to share my matter of opinion on sure. anything. No, right? I'm not asking for it. Yeah. So um, it's just kind of outside. The, I have opinions, right? But it's just outside the purview sure. of this. Uh, by all means, if you want to file a formal complaint, go. Yeah. You know, you know the process. So, uh, so you, after the phone calls, uh, the video pretty much cuts off right after he calls Lieutenant Holly. Sure. Right. So I don't have. That's the part I'm also missing. What happened after that, or did anything happen? I walked away. Um, I, if you watch the dash cam video, you see I walked away probably three, four minutes before he tells Lieutenant Holly that I walked away. Okay. Um, you know, I, 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 the last thing I said to him was, uh, enjoy the fucking complaint, asshole. Okay. And and then I walked away. I, again, after we're done, you know, kind of talking, I'll let you see absolutely, the video. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I decided that if you if you have Google Drive, I'll give you a copy of the video. Okay, okay. So so you can, you know, watch it at your leisure. Um, but I walked away. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know, while he's on the phone with Lieutenant Holly, if you're watching it from the dash game perspective, you see me walk away. Mm -hmm. um, and then that was it. Okay. Um, and the, the no, there's been no contact since with him, correct? No. None? Okay. Um, so your complaint says, and this is just, it, I don't have a problem with him sending the video out, but it, it can kind of make things, I'll just read to you my, like kind of what my concern, not a concern, but just a question, right? Go ahead. So in here, um, I then followed him to ABC Pond where he stopped to run traffic and approached him while recording. He proceeded to call me, okay, that's not one. 
He proceeded to go in ABC Pond to get me CTW'd, where I'm told he also conveyed to the people inside that I was a child molester. So how did you know that at the time you filed the complaint? Obviously, you've seen the video now. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay. I'm not going to disclose it. Okay, that's fine. I was just, I was just curious. Because the guy that owns the uh, uh, ABC Pond? Mm-hmm. The owner does in the video mm -hmm. is friends with a good friend of mine. Okay, yeah. okay. I just wanted to kind of clear that up because it was because I, I knew at this point you had wrote this, you hadn't had the video no. yet, right? Yeah. So that was just something you were told through a source. Okay. okay. Um, any previous interactions with Og other, other than, than the Emerson thing? No, no, no. no. Okay. And the only reason I had an issue with him after that was because he, at the time, I didn't hear it. You know, he threatened. Him to arrest me when I got out of the car on the, the Emerson video. And then he also, you know, said some disparaging remarks before he turned his body camera off as, mm. you know, when he left the, the scene. Um, that's the only reason I called him a fuck stick. Okay. The rest of the officers, you can ask them. I haven't been flipping these officers off, mm -hmm. not since Emerson. The, wh what happened with Emerson was handled the, the, the correct way. Mm -hmm. I haven't been flipping these officers off. I haven't been going to their traffic stops. I haven't been going to sitting wherever they're sitting. He's the first one that's seen me, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Um, he just happened to say the wrong thing out, out the window at the wrong time and, and got what he got. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't really, but thank God for body camera, right? Cause I, we don't have to have this long conversation that he said, she said thing. Right. Uh, so that's kind of all I really wanted was just to hear that clarify some of that other stuff. And you needed that beginning. And if you want yes. a sworn statement from my wife, um, if, if that helps, then I'm, I'm able to get that for you. Um, had body camera in. not existed, I would, but okay. I, I don't think, uh, and I'll confer with chief and see what he thinks. But I, in my opinion, I don't think we're going to need that just okay. because the body camera does exist. Right. Sure. Uh, and there's been no conflicting statements from what you said to what I've seen. So there's nothing that makes it go. So it's pretty kind of cut and dry matter. Right. Um, that's, so that's pretty much all I have. Um, do you have any questions for me? that I may or may not be able to answer just with the nature of how eyes work. Um, yeah, I know what questions you're not going to answer. Um, the only question I have as of right now is he's still actively on duty right now. Yes. To my okay. knowledge, I don't think, I don't think chief's made it. Well, he hasn't got to that point. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as that goes, I mean, I have no more questions. I okay. Mean, Timeline wise, uh, you know, I'm going to talk to him and then I'll, I'll have this turned over to chief. And then at that point, it's it's out of my hands. It'll be all up to them. Disciplinary issues matters. I don't have any say in that, and I, and I should. You just the investigator. I'm the inquisitor, right? Yeah. I'm the inquisitor, um, and so that's why it's important. I talk to you. I'll talk to him, and I think that's probably pretty much it. So um, I'll go ahead and kill this. All right. Uh, the video. I don't actually have Google Drive. Okay. Um. Uh, that's probably going to be the only way I can get it to you. So if I could just watch it just to yeah. clarify, I think sure. that that would be fine. Right. So. Sounds good.